HT School is back with the world's largest online quiz for students. Class Act 2023 The Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz Hosted by the illustrious quiz masters Dr. Navin Jaikumar and Avinash Mudaliar 40K plus registration, 21K plus participant, 107 finalists, 1.5 lakh gift vouchers. Class Act 2023, the Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz. And welcome to Class Act 2023, the Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz for all students. Congratulations, finalists. Let us begin with the grand finale for Class Act 2023, the Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz. My name is Meghasham Shirodkar and I shall be your host and dost for today's quiz. Class Act 2023 continues the proud tradition of a quiz that made headlines and broke records with an enviable debut last year. It was certified by the Limca Book of Records, the Asia Book of Records, and the India Book of Records as the largest quiz of its kind anywhere in the world. And this year, it was no different. As a whopping 40,000 plus students registered for Class Act 2023, and more than 21,000 quizzers battled it out in a fun-filled preliminary round on January 26th. India's 74th Republic Day. For us at HT School, it is a moment of great pride to see India's next generation's passion for this great sport that we call quizzing, the best mind sport of all. It's a pleasure to have you all quizzing enthusiasts here to make it to the top 100 out of tens of thousands of contenders is no mean feat after all. You all are already winners in our book. And a special shout out to the junior champs who are not here in the finale today, but whose prizes are on their way. You have indeed proved that you are made for quizzing and quizzing is made for you. But wait, what's quizzing without quiz masters? I'm grateful to Dr. Naveen Jaikumar and Mr. Avinash Mudalia for conceding to spend this beautiful, beautiful morning with us on a weekend. And it is my pleasure to introduce you and them to each other. Dr. Naveen Jaikumar is an ophthalmologist by profession and a quiz master by passion. He is the founding member of the Quiz Foundation of India and also the founder and honorary director of Darshan Eye Hospital Chennai. He was the head of neuro-ophthalmology at Shankar Netralaya till 2005. And it's a moment of pride for us that he is the current president of the Indian Neuro-Ophthalmologists Association. What more could we ask for as a quiz master of repute? He is the quiz master of the Landmark Quiz, India's longest running open team quiz, which has been going on since 1994. He also conducts the Murugappa Madras Quotient Quiz since 2011 and the Rotary Galaxy Science and Technology Quiz since 2017. And a very, very nice fact for you, he also hosted the world's largest online school quiz. No prizes for guessing which one, Class Act 2022, the previous year's edition of the Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz. Moreover, he is also a trained classical pianist and the winner of the Sicily Gaussian Trophy for Best Performance in the Senior Grade Examinations of Trinity College of Music, London, way back in 2004. Now that's an impressive profile. Welcome, Dr. Naveen. Supporting him is our own Avinash Mudaliar, an avid quizzer as well as quiz master and the co-founder of HT Labs. Avinash is extremely passionate about building products and when not doing so, he enjoys traveling and quizzing to discover more about this world that we live in. One of India's most prolific quiz masters, Avinash has been quizzing for the last 35 years. He began when he was your age or maybe even less and hasn't stopped ever since. He has conducted more than a thousand quizzes in the last 20 years and he has also won more than 800 major quizzes in that time as well. He hosted Under the People Tree, Asia's largest quiz festival, and co-hosted the world's largest online school quiz, last year's Class Act. He was the quiz master for the Times Mac Moto Quiz, 
the Ernst & Young Knowledge Quiz and the Power of Ideas Print Quiz conducted by the Economic Times, to name but a few. So here's to starting the finale of our much-awaited Class Act 2023, the Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz with Dr. Naveen and Avinash Mudaliar. Before we begin today's proceedings, let me take you through the guidelines, the rules and regulations, the gameplay as we call it for today's quiz. The finale that you're seeing will be conducted on Zoom and Kahoot as you have come to know. Please ensure that you have signed into Zoom and Kahoot using the email ID that you are used while registering for Class Act 2023. Using a different email ID may lead to disqualification, so please avoid doing that. Also ensure that your first name and last name when you log into Zoom are the same with which you have registered for the quiz. Do ensure that you have good internet connectivity since this is a live quiz. If you drop off due to internet troubles or other technical issues, you can miss out on a few seconds and decrease your chances of making it to the top today. Remember, questions shall not be repeated and HD School shall not be compensating the finalists for any issues related to their network connectivity. Please keep your video on throughout the quiz and remember to stay on mute unless specifically asked to unmute yourself by the quiz master. We do have proctors who are watching every screen of every participant, so please ensure that you play fair and make sure that this is an honestly competed contested quiz. Only the student who's participating should be answering and thinking. No other device, relative, sibling or friend should be helping you during the quiz. If such a thing is noticed by the proctors, it could lead to disqualification. So please ensure that you do not do so. Do remember to adhere to the protocols that are set by the team conducting the quiz. And remember, the winners of the quiz shall be declared officially by HD School within a couple of days, 48 hours of ending the quiz. There is a request. We strongly advise you to close all other tabs except for the finale Zoom link and the Kahoot link, whose link we will share with you shortly to avoid any issues of bandwidth. How do you play on Kahoot? Simple. After this briefing session is over, we will give you the Kahoot link and the game pin on the Zoom chat box of this very call. Please ensure that you log in within the next 30 to 40 seconds after the Zoom pin, uh, after the Kahoot link is shared. Also, I would recommend that you use a separate device like a mobile phone or a, a handheld tab to log into Kahoot so that you don't have to keep toggling between the Zoom call and the Kahoot gameplay. However, if you want to log in on the same device that is also allowed, just ensure that you keep toggling or switching between the Zoom call and the Kahoot link in order to play because the answers cannot be entered or given out on the Zoom call. It can only be on the Kahoot platform. When you go to Kahoot, you will be asked for your email ID. Please enter your registered email ID in the email field. It should be the same email ID with which you have registered for the quiz. If it is any other ID by mistake, you can of course play along, but when it comes to declaring the winners, only the registered email IDs shall be taken into account. Once you're logged in with the email ID, you will be asked to enter a nickname. Mine happens to be Megatron. Some people call me MS, but that is not allowed. Please ensure that you enter the first name and possibly the last name as well. If you meet a character limit, please ensure that the first name is perfect and enter as many characters of the last name as you can. Please don't go with fancy nicknames like Superhero, Tiger123, Wizard Supreme or Super Sherlock. That will not allow you to participate or be declared as the winners. This finale will have 42 questions. After all, as uh, Douglas Adams fans would know, it happens to be the answer to life, the universe and everything. So 42 questions it is. These questions will be of two types. One will be the simpler ones, which are multiple choice questions, and the other will be slightly tougher, which are the type in questions. 
for visual based questions you can either pinch in on your device or pinch out on your device to zoom or you can even double click to see a larger image once you close the larger image you can again see the same screen as before please remember when you are entering type in questions your answer must match exactly with the answer or answers that have been coded into the quiz the quiz master will read each question aloud the question will also be visible to you on the kahoot platform and do ensure that you are answering only on the kahoot platform that is the only score that will be calculated if the question is a multiple choice question the options will be displayed on your kahoot question slide only after the quiz master finishes reading out the question a quick tip as soon as you see the options or the type in link you can start giving the answers the timer will start immediately and you can click on the option or type out the answer depending on the type of question please note that scoring is based not just on the right answer but how soon you give that answer so time as well as accuracy are important and the decision of the quiz masters shall be final and binding regarding these scores last but certainly not the least if you face any sort of internet connectivity issues or technical issues during the finale you can re-enter using the same kahoot link however obviously you may have missed a few questions these will not be repeated depending on where you dropped out and came back you'll only be able to join back from where the quiz master and the rest of the players are playing at that point in time the next question will be visible on Kahoot only when the quiz master goes on to the next question. So please don't try to tab or go on to next or do anything else which may cause issues with your Kahoot login. For type in questions, use the text box provided. And once you finish typing, do remember to click on the submit button. Unless you click on the submit button for type in questions, the answers will not be recorded. And a quick tip, there is no use to there is no uh, use of typing in any hyphen or full stop or comma or exclamation mark or any kind of punctuation uh, sign in, of any sort. You just have to type in the answer and capital uppercase lowercase does not matter. Quick tip. If you want to save time, just type in small letters without any caps or uppercase sentence case and you should be good. Remember, this is very important. No commas, apostrophes, full stops, hyphens or any characters of any kind. The only characters allowed are those 26 ones that we learn when we go to school for the very first time. A to Z. That's the only characters allowed in the type in questions. All right. So that then were the rules for today's grand finale. Wish you all, all the very best. Let's hand you over to the person who will be taking you through this grand finale. The very, very capable hands of Dr. Naveen Jaikumar. Over to you, Dr. Naveen. Thank you, Megashram. And uh, you had a long list of uh, rules for uh, all our students here today. I hope they've all processed that. Uh, but the game is very simple. Kahoot is very intuitive. Once you get to play it, it's very, very simple to play. Remember, like he said, don't put any unusual characters and all that. We don't need that. And it's not case sensitive. Whether you type it in capitals or small letters, it's all good for us. I also want to tell you that we have included certain spelling variations. Up to four variations are allowed in case people make have slight differences in spellings. So um, I'll also help you along as we go ahead to ensure that you get the right answer. Uh, with that, uh, shall we go ahead, Megashan? Uh Yes, Doc. Great. All yours. Please so take thank thank you time. and welcome once again to Class Act 2023, the Hindustan Times Republic Day Quiz, the final. So your first one is type in an answer. Which famous greeting referring to the birth name of this great Indian that you see here in the visual is popularly used by his followers to this day. So it's a two word answer. The first word is three letters. The second word is four letters. You 
can see what he's holding. I think he's holding a book called The Constitution of India, probably. Very famous for wearing a blue suit. So if you know his first name or second name, you'll probably get this famous greeting. Last five seconds left and we have close to nine, almost 100 answers coming in. Okay, 93. It's time to look at what's happening. A uh, couple of correct answers there I can see. Well done. It is Baba Sahib Bhimrao Ambedkar. So the greeting is Jai Bhim. Okay, remember that Jai Bhim. We will come back to it towards the end of this quiz. Okay, this is the answer Jai Bhim. And respect to Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the father of the Indian constitution. What better way to start this Republic Day quiz with a question on the constitution? The second question is what six letter wooden object fills the blank? And here you see the actor Morgan Freeman and he says that he always wears solid gold earring for the exact same reason that pirates of old wandering from far from home in unknown and dangerous places for long periods used to wear them to pay for something in case it is needed. It's a six letter wooden object which pirates thought they would need in case they are faced with mortal danger. Okay, what do you think if anything happened to them untoward, they felt that they would need this six letter wooden object and in, in case people don't pay for it, uh, they used to use their gold ring, earring to pay for it. I'll give you a clue here, what would happen if a pirate died, what would he be in need of? A six letter wooden object. Okay. So, we all hoped you typed in your answers correctly. Let's see. So, we have coffin, coffins, casket. Casket is a good answer also. So, the answer is coffins. All right. On that rather downbeat note, let's quickly move on to question number three. What pastime is the inspiration behind the design of this bridge? Now, I can tell you that this bridge is called the Atal Bridge. It is in Ahmedabad, okay, near the Sabarmati River. So, think of Ahmedabad and think of a famous pastime. And you can see these very colorful uh, objects which are depicted on the bridge. Think of Ahmedabad pastime. And what do you think those objects might be? So, it is a pastime very much associated with Makar Shankranti. About 10 seconds left. Right, so question 3, the answer was kites. Okay, so someone wrote Makar Shankranti on the right track. Okay, here comes, this is the kites that we were talking about. And moving on to the next question of this quiz, question number four. Again, it's a type in the answer. You're going to see a cartoon drawing below, which is the style of beard. Okay. It's named after a fictional character from a famous Disney franchise. Okay. It's actually not a bird. It's named after the character. What is it called? Do you see that uh, cartoon below where the beard has got two little strands going down below it? That one. Okay. You see the front view and the side view. This style of beard is called what? Think of a famous Disney franchise. There are I think about five films made based on the, this series. Incidentally, this series is also based on a famous Disney park theme ride. Okay. That's the origin of this very famous series. Most of the series in these films takes place in the sea. So if that's a clue for you, somewhere near the West Indies, that region. Think of a famous fictional character and his last name. Sounds like a bird. 
okay and time is up so the movie was okay a lot of you have got that okay the movie was pirates of the caribbean and jack sparrow so sparrow is the name okay we've given various options uh 14 of you have got that right well done it's a tougher question i understand yes but on the top it's still the same so this is the sparrow named after jack sparrow of the pirates of the caribbean fame moving on to question number five which current tennis player is the first asian to be ranked number one in the world that there's a nice clue there she shares her surname with a japanese city even if you write the name of the japanese city that should be enough 30 seconds left and i can tell you that the answer should be five letters okay let's see how many of you got that right well done 66 plus 6 plus 1 well done so that is naomi osaka as you all know osaka is the name of a japanese city and here is naomi osaka right let's move on to the next question the first word of the country's name is malay for frizzy hair the other two words of this country's name refer to an african country so which country is this so we are looking for a three word country's name and i can tell you that this is in asia you can see that very beautiful bird of paradise there that's one of those few birds which feature on countries flags in the world so it's another useful quiz question for you to remember and the constellation that you see there is the southern cross the southern cross constellation can also be seen in the flags of australia and new zealand so that will give you a clue as to this country's location it must be close to australia and new zealand so the answer happens to be papua new guinea guinea is a country in africa papua means frizzy hair and that's how you get the word papua new guinea so if you remember the location of papua new guinea it's very close to australia so these are the rather fierce looking uh warriors uh, in papua new guinea okay so look at the map see where papua new guinea is and that will help you as well moving on to music in orchestras what expression refers to musicians who take a supporting role to the lead violinist that is they are playing blank blank okay so what are the two blanks so this is a phrase which is used in the english language also when you are supporting you're playing a supporting role to someone else okay someone else is the main person and you're just on the side is this thing okay so that means you are playing blank blank and both the blanks are six letters each think of a another name for a violin there is a nursery rhyme where a cat is holding a violin Do you remember where a cow jumped over the moon as well so that will help you what is that violin called five seconds left to get in your last guesses okay let's see what people have written this is a tough one someone wrote fiddle dee dee but very good 19 of you wrote second fiddle so when you're playing second fiddle to someone else that means you're just a supporter on the side you're not the main person okay so that's what it means to play second fiddle before we go to the next question so this is the answer as i mentioned to play second fiddle so the violin is also known as a fiddle moving on to the next question the title of which 1908 children's novel about 11 year old orphan girl comes from structures with such colorful roofs look at the color of the roofs is part of the answer if i'm not mistaken this is a story which is set in canada okay time is up 
And let's see. The right answer happens to be Anne of Green Gables. I'm pleasantly surprised that 57 of you got that right. Well done. So the green refers to the color that you saw. The gables refer to the rooftops. Okay, like that. Okay, so those tilted rooftops are called angled rooftops are called gables. Okay. And there you go. It has been made into movies. It's also been made into television serial. I think it's available for viewing on OTT. Here comes the next question. Once again, type in the box. Users are not permitted to do what? To files with the extension .wwf. It's a simple five letter word. If you get a file marked .wwf, you're not supposed to what? One word. What are you not supposed to do to the file? You can see the image there .wwf and you can see a green tree. So that might give you a clue that this is something eco-friendly. What are you not permitted to do to such files? Simple five letter word. Okay. We had 85 answers there. Okay. Let's see how many of you got. You're not supposed to print out these. Okay. It's eco-friendly. You only use it as a soft copy. You will conserve trees by not printing out such material files which are marked dot wwf it is a small way to save the environment and save trees okay so you're not supposed to print out dot wwf files moving on to question 10. simple question you're seeing a sweater here what is this kind of a sweater called okay it says there it's also the title of a Taylor Swift song. Okay. This type of knitted sweater with an open front that is worn like a jacket gets its name from James Buchanan, I think, or Brudenen, the Earl of Blank, British Army Major General. You can see that this sweater is like a jacket. So you can button it up in the front. It starts with the letter C. Okay, what is this sweater that starts with the letter C? It is a cardigan. Okay, well done. 65 of you got that right. Cardigan named after Lord Cardigan. This is cardigan, which incidentally happens to be a song by Taylor Swift as well. Moving on to question 11. Toru Iwatani was eating pizza when he came up with an idea for which beloved video game character. Imagine if you took out a slice of the pizza, one slice, what would the rest of the shape look like? And that would be the shape of this video game character. Think of a round pizza with one slice of which character looks like that? Most of you have got your answers in. Okay, 97 answers there. Let's see. Pokemon. No, it's not Pokemon. It is Pac-Man. And most of you have got that right. 30 or 4 of you use a little dash hyphen. Remember, we told you no need to put a hyphen. Okay, don't use a special character like a hyphen. But we are giving you points for this, so don't worry. So this is Pac-Man and that is Toru Iwatami. And I'm sure many of you have played this Pac-Man game which keeps eating all those little things. All right, moving on to the next question. All of you have heard the song Natu Natu. So who currently lives in the building that you see in the background? Is it Vladimir Putin? Is it the governor of Karnataka? Is it Emmanuel Macron? Or is it Volodymyr Zelensky? Okay. Okay, 62 of you said Volodymyr Zelensky. And yes, that happens to be the right answer there. 
how or this film was this song was shot in 2021 before all the terrible events between Ukraine and Russia which are going on started so that is slightly better time here's your next question the octagonal shape of the shield in the indian navy's ensign you should see there below is a tribute to which naval pioneer okay i want the name of a ruler of india who was also a naval pioneer right i'm sure hopefully most of you would have got that the famous naval pioneer of course is chhatrapati shivaji so a lot of you wrote just shivaji also is fine a little bit of spellings this way that way doesn't matter as long as you've got shivaji there and i see a lot of you wrote shivaji maharaj as well good for you all of you get points so this is the great chhatrapati shivaji here comes the next question which two famous dance styles are these write your answers one after the other but please don't use any comma or colon or anything like that okay you can see there representing the letters f and t these are the only dance forms featuring on the nato radio telephony list you know that a is alpha b is bravo c is charlie d is delta you know so like that what is f and what is t they happen to be dances dance styles and they are shown in those two pictures there doesn't matter which order you write it whether you write f followed by the t or t before the f doesn't matter which are these two dances one starts with the letter f the other starts with the letter t as you know in uh, in in aviation or even in nato and several of these things they don't use letters a b c d when they are speaking in case it's not heard properly so instead of the letter a they say alpha instead of the letter b they say bravo okay like you say b for bombay in like in like that they say b is bravo they say okay so that's the radio telephony so what is s and what is t what are these two dances Okay, so quite a few of you, not bad. About twenty percent of you have got that right. Fox trot is the F, and T is the tango. Okay. Okay, so this is fox trot and tango. Moving on to the next question. This train makes a sixteen-day journey. From Safdarjung to Rameshwaram, what is its seven-letter name? Okay, so if you write it as eight letters, it's also fine. Okay, you can see the route there: Nandi Gram, Sita Mari, Janakpur, Varanasi, Prayag, Shingarvirpur, Chitrakoot, etc. So look at those names like Chitrakoot, Janakpur, Sita Mari, and tell me what is appropriately the name of this train. Okay, I'm sure all of you must have got this. Okay, not Janpat. It is the Ramayan Express. Okay. I'm surprised not many have got this. I thought all the places look very familiar. So this is the Ramayan Express. In which planet, also known as Iva's Child, would one come across the floating Hallelujah Mountains? I'm sure you'd have seen it in a film and more recently its sequel. what is the name of that planet it's a fictional planet okay close to 90 answers there 
not exomoon pandora but just pandora will be fine half of you got that right well done so fair bit of avatar fans here good for you pandora actually happens to be the name of a character in greek mythology who's told not to open a box but she's so curious that she opens it and from it comes all the ills of the world but in this case of course it refers to these mountains in uh, in this planet called from avatar okay here's the next question which variant of green tea with kashmiri rose as its defining ingredient is an integral part of kashmiri cuisine there are four options there for you to choose matcha kava kombucha or oolong even if you're not sure don't miss out on this just pick any of these boxes no negative points okay good lot of you said kava which happens to be the right answer well done that is kava from kashmir so next time you visit kashmir do try out kava oolong is of course the chinese tea which huge insurance payout was made by this company called swiss re in 1912 that nearly sunk the company okay there's a nice clue there it's 1912 and it nearly sunk the company i'm looking for one keyword answer even if you write one word what you know insurance payments are made because of certain untoward incidents or disasters so can you think of a famous terrible incident or a disaster that happened in 1912 and there's a little word clue there it says that it nearly sunk the company of course people may say it was all the fault of an iceberg okay 80 answers okay good for you very nice i think lot of you have got it right 50 of you have said titanic one word i'm glad you followed my advice so it was the titanic which hit the iceberg in 1912 and sank and this insurance company called swiss re had to make a huge amount of payouts okay so this was the famous rms titanic someone came up with the answer lusitania which is a good guess as well but the year doesn't fit Here's the next question. You are going to see Malala Yousafzai sitting nicely and comfortably on a bench with another young lady. What is the young lady's name? The other young lady's name. Very famous lady in the world of ecology. Okay. Time's almost up. Fair bit of answering there. That's good. Good to see that. All right, Sanya Mirza, Priyanka Chopra, no, none of those. Yes, it is Greta Thunberg. Even if you wrote Greta, that is fine, good enough for us. Okay, so that is Greta Thunberg, who famously refused to take a flight from uh, from Sweden to uh, to the US to attend the conference. So she said she's going to go only by boat, and she went. She sailed across the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, because. flights consume a lot of energy and power and are bad for the planet okay so that is the young firebrand greta thunberg okay moving on to question 20 after which i'm going to invite my fellow quiz master avinash mudliar what very apt two letter code will be common to all the new indian license plates look at these vehicle licenses there's an example given there's an area which is blacked out okay after the number 22 that area is blacked out what two letters 
which is very appropriate cons- concerning our country will you find there on all the new number plates right so let's see what you have written two letters a lot of you have written i n also but b h is what we are looking for b h i'm sure you all know stands for the word bharat and those are the two letters that are going to be there common to all vehicular license plates in india and there you go you can see the b h there standing for bharat i n was a good guess but we also use the word indian in the thing over to you avinash thanks navin uh, thanks doc uh, let's move on to the next question which popular street food literally means to lick and has its origin from this story from sajahan's reign the story goes that during a severe outbreak of cholera a remedy was suggested to make it loaded with spices so that it could kill the bacteria this led to the creation of this very spicy and tangy snack which is prepared with a liberal dose of spices which includes tamarind chilies coriander mint and many more it comes in a few types i will give you a few examples like papdi samosa and alu tikki so i am looking for a five letter answer lots of right answers lots of answers coming in sure all your answers will be finger licking good but don't put kfc because you heard finger licking good right now okay very interesting answers gol gappe chaat we we'll accept both spellings chaat is basically what i was looking for not whatsapp chaat chaat is the answer we are looking for like i rightly said it comes in these multiple types samosa chaat alu tikki chaat incidentally papdi is also another type of chaat now you need to tell me what is the name of this ball right the name of the official match ball of the 2022 fifa world cup in qatar means the journey in arabic it is also the title of the 14th century travelog of ibn batuta now what was the name of this ball so you all watched the fifa world cup which just got over i'm sure all of you would have seen this ball in action a little bit of thinking should give you its name a totally looking at a seven letter term right broken into two parts quite a few of you have got it right more than 50% it's called the al rila it's perfectly right that's the answer we are looking for al rila is the name of ibn batuta's travelog that's the reason the football was named so to honor this very famous traveler spaces so it's they're all still holding on al rila is the answer which we were looking out for now from ball to nature gerenux i have also a two word alliterative nickname they call the ex gazelle now look at their long neck and just identify which other animal would be ex right just look at their necks and guess which other animal could be x simply because they have a long neck think of some nice long neck animals how many do you know okay here are the top 20 answers okay a lot of different spelling variations let's see who's leading after this answer and let's see what the right answer is many of you guys have said giraffe giraffe is on point giraffe is the right answer anyone who took a long shot at it at this long necked animal should have got it giraffe is the right answer board so let's move on please type in your answer what is the surname of this 
Belgian inventor and this musician whom you see in this statue with his eponymous invention. Now you just need to give me his surname. It's a three letter surname. To answer that, look at the instrument he's holding in his hand. That should give you a big clue. Just a three letter surname. Slightly tougher one. Okay, Adolf Sax, we've got a precise answer there. Sax, saxophone. We look at all these answers. The answer which we were looking for is Adolf Sax. We are looking for Sax. That was the three letter term which we were looking for, the three letter surname. A lot of you have guessed it. I mean, I thought this was a tough question. 60, more than 67 people have got it right, which means it's a very simple question. So let's move on and see what the scoreboard says. Sri Shivendra is still in the lead. Kushagra is still in second place. Ayushman is still in third place. This is Adolf Sax. He is the man who invented the saxophone. It's named after him and he was from Belgium. Okay. This upcoming Zoya Akhtar movie is based on which popular American comic book series? Look at those kids in the image. Think of comics. Incidentally, over here, this guy has a pretty decent hat. The other comic had the character wearing a cloth crown of sorts. So that should give you a clue. Right? A crown made out of cloth. A ragged cloth. But yeah, here he seems to be wearing a beret, but the original did not have a beret. Okay. Let's see. Oh, lots of right answers here. We will look at all the options. I'm sure most of you have got it right. The Archies, Archies, Archie comics. Yes, all variants are all okay with us right uh the only variant which doesn't work for us is the covid variant in this case all variants of spellings and options are all considered the archies was the answer we are looking for right in the original comic jughead has a crown shaped hat s'mores consists of a chocolate layer and which other ingredient sandwiched between two graham crackers it's one of those much loved children's snacks which you could kind of roast on a cold evening if you are near a flame right we don't encourage you to be near a flame but if you're going camping and you decide that you want to have a good evening this is one of those interesting things you can roast and taste and let's see what the answer is. Yes, marshmallow. Marshmallow is the answer we're looking out for. We will look at all the spelling variations. Marshmallow is the answer which we were looking out for. Now we need the first name of this driver slash mechanic. This is a 1945 photo which shows a second subaltern in the women's branch of one of the Allied armies during World War II, who trained and worked as a driver and mechanic and was later given the rank of honorary junior commander. I'm looking for a very royal answer from all of you. So what is this answer we are looking for? We want the name of the individual. Okay, quite a few right answers here. Over 50% of you have answered on point. Yes, it is Queen Elizabeth or uh, Queen Elizabeth II. We will give you points for that. Let's move on and show you what the answer slide says. And the answer which we look forward to getting from you all was Queen Elizabeth II. So yes, on that note, let's move on to the next one. Which world famous work of art was the inspiration 
for this movie poster it's a painting which i'm looking for and the painting has six letters okay just give us six letters looking at the expression what do you think that kid is doing it's also an action six letters describing that action and i'm sure you should get the right answer the action is also the name of a painting you just need to either tell me what that kid is doing there or the name of the painting okay the kid was screaming this is the scream right this is a scream by edward mung that's the answer we were looking for we will show you the answer slide and you will know how close the poster is to the inspiration coming very soon on to your screens this is the scream this is the scream by edward munk and now you need to tell me which animal has been blank from the bottom of this photograph this is a 1947 hunting photo of maharaj uh, ramanuj pratap singh yo of korea who is notorious for doing something irreparable that was corrected by shri pm narendra modi only 75 years later in september 2022 so you can see a gun in his hand what did he end up shooting the last of or what did he supposedly end up shooting the last of in india which was then remediated by our current prime minister shri narendra modi ji that's the answer we are looking out for cheetah is the answer we are looking for cheetahs or cheetah he supposedly shot the last three cheetahs which were there in india and in september eight african cheetahs five females and three males were translocated from namibia and released by shri pm narendra modi ji at the kuno national park cheetah is the answer which we were looking for i will be doing another question and after that navin or uh, dr navin will take you to the end of the quiz okay this is a laddu question so which famous place name is linked with this sweet this is the laddu question of the quiz in 2009 this famous sweet was granted a geographical indication or a gi tag also called shriwari laddu this more than 300 year old delicacy is made in only one single kitchen called laddu potu which currently makes more than 280000 large laddus every day so where would you have to go to literally taste this laddu i'm just looking for a place name so this is a simple laddu question for all of you to literally chew on that's time up okay tirupati is correct rahul tripathi is not the right answer tirupati is what we are looking for lovely answer most of you seem to have got it right and that was the tirupati laddu and from one round object which is the tirupati laddu to another series of round objects which is the question here that you're seeing on your screen exactly what was created with the three main raw materials obtained from recycling these donated devices <clears throat> as you can see there there are olympic rings and it says tokyo and in the lead up to the tokyo olympic games a landmark recycling initiative was undertaken across japan a total of nearly 80000 of discarded electronic devices was collected can you think of certain round objects and we need a simple one word answer that will do simple answer just a word will do we don't need any further descriptions of it 
podiums, teddy bears, wheels. No, these are the medals. Okay, the medals of the Tokyo Olympics were made from all those discarded electronic devices. Okay, so that was an amazing example of recycling. And there you go, 70 pounds of gold and so much of silver and bronze were used to make these medals all recycled. What home appliance was invented when it was noticed that a chocolate bar kept near a radar amplifier melted? There's some information there below that the company called Raytheon built the first commercially available version of this device which is called Radar Range. It is a home appliance. It is an electrical appliance. And you notice what the effect was. A chocolate bar kept near a radar amplifier. The chocolate bar melted. So you can kind of guess what that home appliance must be used for. Something you use for cooking or heating. Okay, so let's see what people wrote. Ultrasound, radar, no. Microwave is what we were looking for. Not many people answered that. A slightly tougher question probably. It is a microwave oven. So the device was actually emitting microwaves and this person who happened to walk past it, the chocolate in his pocket melted. And then he was wondering why it melted and he found that this device was radiating a certain kind of heat was happening. And so that's how the microwave oven was invented. Okay, so that's a little story about it. Okay, so if you've written microwave, uh, that's good. Don't worry, we'll be checking all your answers manually as well. Moving on from microwaves to a dentist called Lasco gave what fabricated name for the product made using this device originally patented in 1899. You can see that device there. It says there's a big clue. Too much consumption of what this device makes might result in a trip to the dentist. You all know that sweets, too much of sweets are not good for the teeth. So what do you think? Something round, rotating. You can see that in the drawing, which makes something very sweet, which is a very, very popular uh, confectionery for kids uh, at exhibitions and fairs in India. Quite often it comes pink in color. See the answers. People have written compass, stethoscope, Lasco caves. No, it is simple cotton candy. Okay, cotton candy is what we were looking for. Okay, 41 of you got that, but more little less than half. Well done. Very unusual for a dentist to make cotton candy, which might result in more trips to the dentist. And there you go, something which is a favorite of many, many children around the world. But eating too much of it, it is not good. Okay. So here's the next question. What scene from Indian mythology does this installation in Bangkok airport depict? So there are a couple of clues there. We've given you parts of the answer as blanks. So you can see that there. It starts with S blank 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 a that's the first word and then the second word starts with three blanks there's a th and then two blanks okay use that as your answer key okay i'll also tell you that the third letter is a letter m so you can very clearly see that image there there is a god standing on a rock like thing 
and then you have something coiled around it and there are two groups of people pulling it from either side all of you must be very familiar with a certain avatar of vishnu associated with this story okay so the answer is samudra manthan so if you have written sagar manthan that is also correct sagar manthan or sagara manthan is also correct and we will be giving points for that as well okay so uh which is why i mentioned that you use the letter m which is the third letter okay vasuki was the king of the serpents and he allowed himself to be used as the churn the rope and the gods and the devas churned it and that's how you get the amrit okay right so moving on to the next question this 2023 uttarakhand tableau showed animals and birds roaming in a famous protected location named after which person so protected location sounds like a game sanctuary can you name a game sanctuary named after a famous person the clue is uttarakhand tableau this tableau was from the state of uttarakhand at the republic day so this person uh, also wrote a very famous book called the man eaters of kumaon famous hunter turned conservationist okay let's see what you written sangai birsa munda nehru corbett is what we were looking for so even if you've written corbett national park which i saw someone has written corbett national park that is also correct so as long as you have the word corbett in it that is good for us and so this is the jim corbett national park next question question number 36 which blood vessel derives its name from the latin word for of or resembling hair for its tiny hair like constructions constitution as the word says it because it looks like tiny hairs you can see uh, an arteriole or an artery there okay from the heart and you have the veins and then you have this fine network of blood vessels connecting the arteries and veins through which actually the tissues in your body get their supply of oxygen and nutrients what are these blood vessels called all right time's up let's see what you've written arteries trichoid capillaries anything sounding like capillaries with even wrong spellings will be accepted okay the right spelling is as you see there uh, capillary two l's a r y or a r i e s and that's the capillary pilus is the name for hair okay but the answer for the vessels are capillaries who is seen here in the still from a christopher nolan film the name of the film is dunkirk now this person also happens to be a famous lead singer in an immensely popular boy band that disbanded or broke up in 2016 so the band he belonged to was a very well known british band called uh, one direction Okay, time is up, and let's see. Some of you wrote Tom Hardy, uh, who also acted in the film, but it was Harry Styles. Half of you have got that right. Well done, Harry Styles. If you've not seen the film Dunkirk, do go and watch it. It is a great film, based on a very famous uh, series of events in the early days of World War Two, when the British used ordinary fishing people and small vessels to evacuate a large british force which is stranded on the beaches of france so this is harry styles of one direction and moving on to the next question which is question number 38 white purity green fertile lands in the south Now you're seeing this flag here this is not the flag of India 
this is a flag of a country in another continent which region does the orange refer to because it forms the upper part of this country that very large area that region also forms a part of this country that region in this continent covers several countries including this one here that you see we are looking for one word or two words very famous geographic region in this continent look at the color orange dusty color okay time ticking away most of you have entered your answers in okay and let's see what you've written not madhya pradesh desert is a good guess but which desert it is the sahara desert so anything with the word sahara there you go that is the sahara desert and the country's flag was niger okay right so let's move on to the next question what is such a program called we are talking of a computer program and i'm looking for a two word answer let's look at the visual you see this large wooden object a large wooden object it is a scene used from greek mythology okay and there you see that okay it's a scene from greek mythology where they used the greeks used to trick the people of troy and they took it inside and inside it were all the greek soldiers and they went and destroyed the city and brought an end to the famous war which is described in the greek epic iliad okay so what the answer to that was the trojan horse the trojan horse is something which looks very good for you something that looks supposedly good but actually is not good at all okay that's called a trojan horse next question what did frank and ethel mars name after their most favorite horse okay so from trojan horse move to another horse the clue there says you are not when you are not you when you are hungry and that is a famous campaign used by this brand i'm just looking for the name of a brand and their favorite horse was also named after this brand something very sweet and chocolatey so the word mars is helpful mars are the people the mars is the m of the m and m's they are 1 m of the m and m's okay so as you can make note they are a well known confectionery company dealing with a lot of chocolates so it's not m and m's think of another famous product made by mars 5 seconds left few more answers coming in okay lot of you on the right track five star bruno but the answer was snickers well done 57 of you got that right these are the snicker bars okay and their horse was named snickers okay after which the brand got its name also snickers okay that was question 40 and we have two more questions left in today's quiz so let's look at the second last question of the quiz what short name fills the blank in this poster you can see that poster from new zealand it's called unknown tourism and you can see vintage style travel posters depicting extinct animals you will never see in your travels so this is an extinct animal or bird in this world from new zealand which extinct bird is this you see the options there ostrich kiwi moa and emu i'm sure you can guess which ones are still around and which ones are which is the one that is extinct okay evenly spread actually sort of people wrote ostrich ostriches are very much around 
that's an extinct bird it is a large flightless bird rather like the ostrich uh, but it is extinct the other three are definitely around last question of the quiz exactly what road safety campaign is being promoted which two words fill both blank spaces in the poster so you can see the poster there it says blank not okay please let's pledge not to drive with blank to make indian roads safer you can see two very large bright hazy circles that you see there of light isn't it in the poster think of that and remember i told you in the beginning of this quiz the first answer was jai bhim and i said we will come back to jai bhim in the last question of this quiz and so keep that in mind and what do you think this answer might be think of these two look at these two very large sources of light which are a lot produce lot of glare so people who are driving and you have cars shining like this you are not able to see them clearly okay oncoming traffic gets disrupted and can result in accidents so which is why they are telling you let's pledge not to drive with blank blank there are two blanks there two words to make indian roads safer so let's see what you wrote mahindra not jai bhim again okay so the answer from jai bhim rhyming with high beam okay so don't put on the high beams of your car headlights drive with the lower beams in city traffic high beams are used only for long distance travel okay so about 17 of you got that not too many but that was a tough question and i think appropriate because all of you did exceedingly well uh, in today's quiz i'm amazed by the amount of right answers coming in today so good luck to all of you i think all of you are winners so i'm glad you all enjoyed yourselves do keep in touch with ht school on their website lots more exciting quizzes and activities for you to take part in with these words uh, from avinash and me thank you and over to you megesha thank you doc and that was as thrilling as it gets i really cannot uh, i can't express it but i am i have boost pimples uh, those scores and especially uh, the way this entire finale the grand finale of uh, class act 2023 the hindustan times republic day quiz went on i think uh, the way uh, dr navin and avinash conducted this had a lot to do uh, with how the students responded and brilliant scores i think all of us are blown away by the kind of uh, quizzing iq that is shown by all these young quizzers of india that then was the grand finale of class act 2023 the hindustan times republic day quiz and uh, this quiz uh, started off with a bang uh, last year with a slew of records and those i think were much more to the credit of you all who participated uh, because that is what made the record and this year we have ensured that we followed in those footsteps as uh, dr navin rightly said from jai bhim to high beam was how this finale went down and i think the high beams that uh, you young quizzers have focused on knowledge on quizzing and on your curiosity in general are what inspire us to keep coming back with more and more of these if all of you have enjoyed uh, watching and taking part in today's quiz uh, let me tell you uh, as uh, the quiz master mentioned a couple of important points to note all of you your answers will be checked manually by the quiz masters and the team at the back end before the final scores are declared so the results that you saw on screen for a brief time they are provisional scores please do not get uh, either carried away or disenchanted if your name is there or is not there we will be checking each and every answer and making sure that a spelling mistake or a blank or a space here or there does not cost you points 
hands. So the final results, the official final results shall be declared within 48 hours. So roughly uh, within 48 hours, you will get to know them by the 7th of February. Today we are in the 5th. So end of day 7th of February is by when we will positively put up the results on the website. You know where to go. Uh, you can visit the, uh, uh, the contest website. Also, if you enjoyed taking part in today's quiz and you are a quizzer who loves knowledge and uh, general knowledge, please head on over to a little corner of this universe that we call Quizverse. It's on htschool.hindustantimes.com. You will be able to play a lot of these quizzes there, of course, without, uh, without that beautiful, beautiful mentoring that went on by Dr. Naveen and Avinash. For that, you'll have to keep coming back to live quizzes here. But you can play quizzes like this on Quizverse. You can even turn Quizmaster yourself and ask questions of your own framing uh, to other quizzers like you. And more importantly, there is a slew of articles uh, and very, very interesting facts and knowledge that you can find on Quizverse, which you can use to read, uh, to brush up those gray cells, as we call them in quizzing, and to become even better quizzers uh, than the fine young quizzers that you already are. Also, there is a something called OTT Play, uh, which is also an offering from the HT Labs table. And OTT Play has got a very, very nice set of offerings for students and for people who want to learn as well. There's something called DocuBay and a lot of reading material, uh, which you would love. Of course, there's a lot of other things uh, to do with OTT and streaming there, but I hope you will do that in moderation. The knowledge is what we will want to push for you. That then was uh, the grand finale. Please remember the results are coming out on the 7th of February by end of day on the website. The results that you saw in the today's uh, Kahoot are provisional. Each and every answer will be checked manually at the back end. We will also be checking the video feeds of each and every one of the winners and making sure that this was an honest, transparent and sportsmanlike quiz. So please make sure that you keep referring to the website by end of day on 7th of February. The winners will receive Amazon vouchers, their gifts, so to say, within 15 days of the finale. So within a couple of weeks from now is when the prizes, uh, which are Amazon vouchers, will wing their way to you virtually in these COVID times. So in advance, congratulations to everybody who will win those vouchers. But more than that, I think uh, from Dr. Naveen, uh, from Dr. Naveen, from uh, me, and from Avinash Mudaliar, a big heartfelt congratulations and a thank you for making sure that Class Act 2023, the Hindustan Times Republic Day quiz was such a huge success. As you will know, more than 40,000 registrations, 21,000 plus students took part in the preliminaries. And what you see in front of you today, those beautiful 100, 100 plus video screens, are the primus inter Paris, the best of the best, first amongst equals of those 21,000 people who took part. So from me, Mega Sham Shirodkar, and from Dr. Naveen Jai Kumar and Avinash Mudaliar, and indeed the entire team at HT School who labors so silently to bring you this quiz. This is a big thank you. Thank you for attending. Keep quizzing. Uh, keep quizzing. Keep collecting knowledge. And as uh, as we say. Uh, a little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep or taste not the Pyrian spring. So now if you've got a taste of what it means to be knowledgeable and what it means to be a wizard, don't let go. Keep quizzing and keep collecting knowledge. Thank you very much, Dr. Naveen. Thank you so much, Avinash, for being the mentors that these children needed. A big thank you to the teams who made this possible. The design teams, the content teams, the marketing, outreach, all those people who have interacted with the students and not interacted as well, working tirelessly to make this quiz possible. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Take very good care of yourself in these COVID times. And for those of you who have boards coming up, wish you all the best for that as well. Thank you very much. Good day and God bless. Thank you.